Flex Nation. It's your boy Curtis, aka Flex. Now, as you guys know, I'm about 28 days coming up to my uh, third powerlifting meet. Now, you guys know I just finished my peaking program, but I still got basically four weeks left until my actual powerlifting meet. Now, that being said, what I actually am doing is I'm actually starting a whole new program. It's not a full length, like 16 week program, but it's a program that you guys might or might not know about. It's called the Kaizen program. Now, this is brought to us by uh, uh, Silent Mike, by uh, Barquan, and by Omar Isov. That's actually another Torontonian where I'm from. And uh, I thought that, hey, what's the best way to, you know, try some kind of something new, try a new kind of training. But uh, by uh, actually taking a look at what these guys put together, uh, Max Truney actually was uh, actually being trained by uh, by Silent Mike not too long ago. You guys, guys might know Max Truney as well. I'll actually link all these actual individuals in the uh, description in case you guys might have uh, want an idea or want to know who these guys are. But they all have YouTube channels. They're all YouTubers. And uh, again, I wanted to try out this whole uh, Kaizen program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually log every day on what this Kaizen program because they get they actually provide a free program four week program like it's almost it's a 12 week program but they give you like a free uh four week trial just to see how you like it so i'm going to try out these things every day and i'm going to pretty much almost like i did for the peaking program i'm going to log every day on what exactly i went through or what their program is like and now again i'll recommend it to you guys when it's all fin finished you know if it's something that you guys should try out because again you know i'm trying to get tell you guys well you know even for free what's the best things to try out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try this out let you guys know and then you guys should take be the judge from there on you know whether you want to try it out or not so let's take a look at uh how this is actually monday and tuesday went and then i'll get back to you guys when it's finished all right guys now the first uh, day of uh, the Kaizen training consisted of uh, three different supersets. The first set is what you see here is going to be the dumbbell uh, shoulder press. Uh, I particularly used uh, two 65 pound uh, dumbbells and the superset required you to do two sets of 12 reps for it and then you had to do it double uh you had to do it supersetted with uh, wide grip pull downs so it's basically two sets of that and two sets of uh you know the wide grips and basically you would be switching back and forth if you don't know what a superset is but that is what a superset is basically going through two exercises at the same time one right after the other and uh that was the first superset then next uh, superset required you to do a uh, cable rows uh, and then you had to do uh, cable cable rolls and then uh, do tricep pull downs at the same time to go with it. So it, it also had to do had uh, the dumbbells uh, lateral raises to go with it as well. But what I did is I put it with the third sub uh, the third superset. So I supersetted the cable roll with the uh, tricep pull down, two sets, twelve reps, like I said. And I, what I did for the pull down is 130 pounds, and what I did for the cable row was 145 pounds. And then after that, and like I said, for the third superset, it required me to do uh, the lateral raises, which is what I was said I was doing from the second one, the hammer curl, uh, and the uh, dumbbell uh, French press. So as you can see there, as with the lateral raises, I uh, did two sets of 12 reps. I used uh, 35 pounds for the uh, lateral raises. Uh, then I went into doing uh, the French press, which is almost like a overhead uh, dumbbell uh, extension. And I did uh, again another. Uh, I think it was how much pounds? Was it? I think about 25 or 30 pounds uh, dumbbells. And I did again it's the two sets of 12 reps. And then I and then I finished it off with the uh, hammer curl. And it, uh, what I did was I uh, used uh, 45 pound dumbbells and did again the two sets of 12 reps. So that's basically how the uh, three sets of uh, three supersets went for today's required uh, workout. Then day two guys had me uh, doing the deficit deadlift, uh, squat, bench, and stiff legged deadlift. And uh, what I did for the first. Uh, for the deficit one is I did 300 pounds, I did three sets of 10. Uh, that's basically what it required for me to do that one. Uh, then I went into doing uh, squats and uh, I did three sets of 10 for that as well and it required me to, to 
do uh, 265 pounds. So for the deficit deadlifts, they had me doing uh, 55% again for three sets of 10, which is the 300 pounds. For the squat, it required me to do 60% of my one rep max, which is uh, 265. And I uh, did that for three sets of 10 reps. Uh, then after I went and he wanted me to go into going to do bench press and uh, just a regular flat bench press it had to do 60 pounds or 60 percent of my one rep max which is 160 pounds and I did three sets of 10 reps and then finish it off with a stiff legged deadlift which required me to do uh, 40 percent of my one rep max which is 220 and I had to do three sets of 10 reps so that's basically how the first two days of my uh, Kaizen training went so far, guys. All right, so as you guys can see, uh, it's not your typical, uh, you know, squat bench deadlift or 5-3 run or anything that you guys know about in the, your own, you know, journey if you guys are into powerlifting or just having any routine period. This is kind of giving you uh, a lot of uh, hypertrophy training at the same time as doing you giving you the strength training because this is what it uh, the kaizen really is it's, it's more of a strength and uh bodybuilding type of training and if you guys know anything about me i like to keep the power builder way of life uh going so you know this is why i'm trying out this thing and trying to see how i uh feel after doing this what i've actually realized is as is that uh i haven't done a set of 10 in a long time so you know going into doing even the 225 for 10 reps uh, it was just exhausting for me. So that's something I'm learning that, you know, going into powerlifting and doing the low numbers, you kind of forget the hypertrophy, uh, hypertrophy you know what I'm trying to say. You forget that side of actually uh, doing things and you kind of realize how, I, I shouldn't say powerlifting is out of shape, but you kind of, it's two different things and you can't expect it to be good at both things. So this is why, I again, another reason why I'm trying to bring myself back up to being you know, leveled and being par and good at both. Because again, I like to be able to be fast, quick, and still strong as hell at the end of the day. So, again, guys, I hope this is uh, something that you guys will ha uh, find some kind of entertainment in. If you guys are new to, you know, power building or bodybuilding as a whole or even power lifting, uh, again, I'm trying to provide, this is not going to be the only one. I got an idea that I'm going to actually do a whole bunch of different routines and hopefully give you guys an idea of how these routines go and again you guys can take it from there again i'm going to give you even sometimes you know the list of exercises you could do and you know that's how i think this is going to be a, a nice little thing i could add to my channel so i'm going to start here with this kaizen one and i'll get like again just let you guys know on uh, you know little ideas on what i think you know you guys might want to know so again if you like that idea Make sure you hit that like button because, again, liking is one of the best ways to let me know that you guys are liking not just the idea, or just the channel and everything that I'm doing, period. Make sure you comment in the comment section what you guys think. Should I uh, try to give you guys as many programs as I possibly can? Because, again, I'm trying to make uh, you know content that you guys can actually get something out of and not just have a whole bunch of random ramble going on. So, again, I will give you as many programs as I possibly know. And, actually, I'll actually link or actually write some of them down and for these first two i'll write them down in the description as well so you guys can actually stay with me and see exactly what i did so again if you if you want comment in the comment section let me know subscribe if this is the first time you're actually checking out my channel and hit that uh, notification bell because again getting a notification bell rung is the best way to get known as soon as possible when my videos are going to be coming out if you share it with anybody that wants to get into something but even wants to get some kind of routine because again this is going to be the first of many routines i'm going to try to drop on you guys so you guys can get an idea you know what routine actually fits you you know what i mean so again make sure you like comment subscribe you share and suggest and always remember guys at the end of the day to flex them guns. Bullet.